Hello and welcome everyone to this edition of the Crane Connection. I'm here today with Brad Bergmoser, CEO at Financial Plus Credit Union. Welcome. Thanks, Sarah. Great to great to get to talk to you. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad to meet you. So why don't you uh, introduce yourself and your credit union to our audience? Sure. So my name is, like I said, my name is Brad Bergmoser. I'm CEO here at Financial Plus Credit Union. Uh, we are headquartered in, in mid-Michigan and, and represent uh, a little over 80,000 members um, here throughout the state. Excellent. So Financial Plus got involved in something pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to leave a little mystery to it for you to share uh, with our viewing audience. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, so I, I'm, I was trying to think back. I think it was sometime in January or February of this year, I got an email from a producer at an organization called The Viewpoint. And The Viewpoint partnered with an actor named Dennis Quaid, who many of you are, are probably familiar with. And what that group does is put together a short, docu a do short documentary film series that usually airs kind of in between larger scale programs in on public broadcasting. So, you know, this this reaches tens of millions of, of American homes every day. And they were their research team was looking into the impact of community banking in 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 certain areas. And the impact of community banking led their research team to, well, what about credit unions? And then, you know, I'm very, very uh, grateful for having an amazing marketing team that have done a lot to help build out our brand here at Financial Plus and some of the things we've been doing over the past couple of years to influence and impact our communities. And, um, you know, the, the stars aligned and they found us. And so again, I, I go into this, this email I got, um, you know, the producer introducing themselves a little bit about the program. And would I just be interested to, to have a you know, a Zoom call like this. And, you know, I, I said, sure, I'll take any opportunity to, to get my picture taken or be on a video. <laughs> um, so we we had a conversation and it was, you know, for me, it's, you know, not not all media is good media, right? You gotta you gotta be able to send the right message. And and you know, if, if you're going to put your your credit union out there, or you're gonna be in this case, and in, in my view, an ambassador for the industry. Uh, the people you work with have to be aligned with with what the message is that that you want. In this case, like I said, tens of millions of people to potentially see. And the conversation went great. Um, you know, it started with more the um, historical, which is a great message in its own right. The idea of credit unions are different because we're structured different. We're not for profits. And while I like that, and you see that in in some of the the finished product. I really wanted to focus on the idea that, you know, you don't have to go to us just because we're a not-for-profit and we do the right things. We do that. Um, you should come work with credit unions because we can do everything banks can do. And because of that community connection, we can do it better. So, you know, I wanted to be able to speak on behalf of our organization and really speak on behalf of the industry. Uh, you know, when we're trying to make sure you know, the, the general public knows that, you know, I, I do feel a lot of the general public knows what a credit union knows of a credit union. That it's two things. They don't think they can join and they don't think we have the products and services that are on par with bank counterparts. That was the myth I really wanted to dispel through the series. And like I said, the Viewpoint team was very amenable and, and great to kind of letting that message come out. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think, you know, like you said, reaching tens of millions of people potentially is great awareness, not only, uh, of course, of credit unions in general, but that they are getting that technology or have that technology to to be able to compete. Um, so I don't know, talk a little bit about the experience. That must have been, I don't know, overwhelming. I don't know. <laughs> Representing credit unions, how how did that go for you? The, so, I mean, the actual experience, you know, I've never been on a movie set or anything like that. We've done some, you know, media within the organization. Uh, we, we, we launched a rebrand last year and did some. We went through a um, a pretty decent sized merger and did a lot of media. So, you know, I'm a little bit used to uh, bright lights, but it, it's not my, not my day job. So when a professional film crew showed up in Flint, 
to discuss with us, um, you know, our mission and what we're doing. It was not overwhelming, but very, very exciting uh, mm -hmm. for not only myself, but um, a lot of the, they weren't paid actors. Those are our, those were our employees who uh, would, you know, love the chance to get to be part of something cool. Um, it was, it was a unique experience for us. And, you know, for me as, as a, as a leader in the organization, it was it was kind of um, doubly exciting because I, I got to you know the employees got a chance to do something to do something interesting and cool that you know normally doesn't fit into our nine to five. So it was you know an entire day of filming. So they they filmed an entire day to distill that down to a you know three to five minute segment. Uh, so there was some outtakes, there was some stops and start overs. Um, there were some things that you know, stayed on the cutting room floor, but the the whole process was really, really neat. And like I said, to, to be able to, to to go through that process was fun. Um, and it made it all the better when, you know, the, the product was to to get out what, what we believe is a great, a great message for, for all credit unions. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't want to give everything away. We'll share the, the link to the video in the uh, show notes, but, uh, one of the things you talk about is that is credit unions as the original disruptors. What have like have we gotten a little too comfortable? And maybe now, as you said, we're we've got the technology. Some of a lot of credit unions have the technology now. But I mean, where did that, or where do you see that energy, that disruptive energy, right now in the industry? Uh, I think it's there. It's, it starts with the people in the industry, and you know, we we do have great people who want to do big things so you know i don't think we kind of got lazy or comfortable i think when you really saw the you know the the revolution into kind of the digital age of banking it's intimidating you know when you see you know city dumping 12 billion into r d and, and fintech you know we don't do that collectively as as an industry you you start to feel like is this a David versus Goliath? Um, if you remember that story, David won. Uh, um, and it, why I love equating it back to we were the original disruptors is we founded on the idea of creating something new in the banking landscape, and that's really what's happening now. It's consumer driven. Consumers, um, you know, especially coming out of the pandemic, are demanding so much more of us, and I think that's a great thing. And I do think we do have, like I said, it starts with the people. We do have the people in our industry to be able to do it. It is just getting over that, you know, and intimidation is a bit of a strong word, but kind of getting over that kind of perceived fear that if we're getting outspent 10, 20 to one, can we really do it? We can. And we have before. We did it in the 30s and 40s when we were founded. And it's just a different, you know, um, the quote is history doesn't um, repeat itself, but it rhymes. We're we're in that same era, um, just now with a, a completely different kind of digital lens. But I do believe we have the people. I do believe we have the partnerships, and that's why I'm excited that to sh to show and I and I said it in in the the documentary series was we did this before and uh, we will we'll do it again and and kind of come out as as leaders. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I, the, the power of credit unions just amazes me. I, it has me in awe. Um, and I think we need to flex our muscles a bit <laughs> mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, show that, uh, that, uh, that spirit that we have, uh, as a collaborative community. Um, so why, I mean, you talked a little bit about this, but why'd you decide to do it? What have been the benefits to your credit union, to credit unions at large for the viewers? What do you see there? Uh, for for our credit union, you know, let's start with you know one of the biggest the biggest goals and motivators we have at our credit union is employee development. So we gave our you know already great marketing team the ability to spend you know four and five four or five months working with a you know film production crew and marketing teams don't always get that exposure. So the amount our employees learned through the process was totally worth the time and the effort alone um you know we like i said we got to some of our actors 
got got the chance to experience something something neat. And then, like I said, I, we, we all of us as credit union leaders should take almost every opportunity we can to spread the message of of our mission and why we are competitive and and why we will um, continue to be leaders in financial services and in the future. I think it's incumbent on all financial institutions, all credit union executives to step up when called upon. Uh, so that's another reason why we did it. Third, it's, you know, I, I, you know it, it, I love telling our story. You know, we've done a lot at Financial Plus over the past few years and, you know, creating a creating a brand for an organization is vitally important to its its viability and success. And, and I've talked about this before. I, I love working in the credit union industry because we get to live the best of both worlds. We are a mission oriented, consumer owned, um, cooperative network, but we also get to run our businesses like we run like you run a business. Mm -hmm. And this was an opportunity to put Financial Plus's logo um, in front of households across the United States. So I don't want to shy away from the fact that there was a business um, um, angle to this that absolutely we were excited to to take on. Yeah, I totally agree. And that's why I, when I was a reporter way back in the day, uh, you know, what half my job was chasing down sources who wouldn't call me back. Yeah, I 100% believe in you need to call the sources back. Yep. Um, or call the reporters back, or, or in this case, the producers for this, uh, this uh, documentary. So, um, yeah. Now, as I mentioned, it's already aired, and we're going to have uh, the link in the show notes so everybody can see it. Uh, very cool, very polished. You did very well. Uh, how about some uh, <laughs> final thoughts from you, Brad? Oh wow! Final thoughts. I hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, special thanks to the, the viewpoint crew that, you know, worked with us, uh, through the spring to kind of put the, put the copy together, uh, the crew that, that came out here to, to mid Michigan to, to film with us. Uh, obviously thank you to the team at financial plus, you know, like I said, there, it was, you know, this did, this did help our industry and it, it helped our business, but there was a lot of long nights. It was above and beyond for a lot of our team members. So I really want to thank the financial plus team. Um, you know, want I guess I asked for, for forgiveness and not permission, but thank you to the credit union industry for letting me speak on, on our behalf. I hope I did. I hope I did it justice and, and help move, move our mission forward. And, you know, with thank yous comes a challenge. I'll challenge all my counterparts and, and the credit union executives across the industry, um, stand up and spread our message. You know, we, we succeed because we're cooperative. And I think it, as much as we can be cooperative in spreading our, we all have unique brands within our own shops, but we cumulatively, cumulatively together share a brand and that is kind of the credit union way so i want to end it with a with a challenge to all of my counterparts um call those producers back uh explore opportunities um to share your message and and the message that that uh we collectively want want the world to see